Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to talk about the new parachute camos in Battlefield 4 and whether or not they provide any sort of tactical advantage. Now, what is a parachute camo? Many of you may have not even heard of this. It kind of slipped under the radar because it came in a premium battle pack. Several days ago, you should have gotten your new premium battle pack if you're a premium user, and that would unlock parachute camo for you. After you get that unlock, you can basically go into your menus, select your camo option, click on the little gear wheel, and that will allow you to change your parachute camo. So I'm equipping Crimson Woodland right now. And I thought I would give you guys a little preview of all the miscellaneous camos right now on your parachute, as it is hard to see your own parachute while playing in-game. You can kind of look up while you're falling from the sky, but it's not a great visual. So these are all the miscellaneous camos, and then I've gone through the seasonal camos, and I've picked out some of the ones that I thought would actually provide a good tactical advantage for concealing you as you fall out of the sky. And unless I'm mistaken, a new part of this camo is also adding your player emblem to the top of your parachute. This will be visible visible from the bottom side of the parachute as well, along with the camo. So when picking your parachute camo, you can really approach it from a couple different mindsets. Do you want to look cool? Do you want to look crazy? Do you want some flashy colors that are really going to turn a lot of heads? Do you want some sort of cool looking digital camo that perhaps isn't going to conceal you while parachuting down but still look tactical at the same time? Or do you really want to try and conceal yourself as well as possible when parachuting from the sky when you are most vulnerable? Now there's no doubt in my mind that in the months to come we're going to see a lot of striking colors when looking up in the sky in Battlefield 4. People are going to pick some flashy colors out there, and that's fine. It will probably give you away a little bit more. Not that white parachutes necessarily conceal you in the sky, but they could perhaps be mistaken for a cloud if you're not really looking that carefully. If you've got a red parachute camo, chances are people are going to take a second look at that and start shooting away. Now for trying to choose your camo tactically, we have a lot of good reference material and not just from video games. Airplanes for a long time have really been painting themselves in a way to try and conceal their visual outline when flying through the sky, when either being seen from above or below. This camo paint job actually changes depending on whether it's on the top side of the plane or the bottom side of the plane. If you think about it, if you're a soldier on the ground and an airplane's flying overhead, what color do you want the bottom of the plane to be? Probably blue or something that's going to match the color of the sky. If you're another plane overhead looking down, what color should the plane be? Probably should look like something like a bush or the color of the ground below you so it's harder to spot. Now when parachuting in battlefield, what are your biggest threats? Usually soldiers on the ground, so you're probably going to want to camouflage your parachute to match the sky as well as possible. And we've transitioned to looking at some of the flat seasonal camos, and as you can guess, the naval camo is probably going to be our best bet for trying to mask ourselves against the sky, but there's a couple different naval camos. The spray naval camo actually looks like clouds against the sky. The only problem is that if there aren't any clouds in the sky where you're parachuting, it might look a little out of place. Switching over to the flat naval camo, we've got a nice solid blue color which is going to look great against a solid blue sky. Probably one of the least resonating colors as you're coming down from above. The only problem is that not every sky is going to look the same, so perhaps a flat blue camo isn't the best pick for all situations. Surprisingly, switching over to a spray urban camo I found gave us a very small signature against the sky. Now, it might not be better than flat blue in a lot of situations, but considering that we can't always playing what sky backdrop we're going to be against, it might be a good balance of all different sky types. It's also worth noting that the shadows seem to kind of glitch out at different distances. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not, and this is actually going to change the signature of your parachute depending on how far away from your target you are. So I hope this gives you guys all the information you want to know about your parachute camo. Good luck picking a camo, and I look forward to seeing all the different colors in the sky. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing out.